The sun was shining today. It was almost 60 degrees. I went outside and I was checking the garden to see little things coming out of the earth. And then I came in and I had a taste for ice cream. And so I made some ice cream, two ingredients. If you've got bananas and peanut butter, you can make this ice cream in seconds, really. Now I normally, well, I shouldn't say normally, but I typically have some bananas frozen in the freezer so it's easy to pop them into my morning smoothie. So when I freeze bananas, I slice them, put them in a single layer on just a baking sheet. You can use a plate. I usually line it with parchment or plastic wrap and freeze it. They only take a couple hours to freeze. And then I am going to make the ice cream by putting these frozen bananas right into my food processor. You could also use a blender, but it needs to be a pretty powerful blender because this takes some oomph power to get these frozen bananas pureed. So I'm just gonna get all of these little banana slices right into my food processor. So here we go, I'm gonna turn it on and I'm just going to keep pushing down the sides until my bananas are really nice and creamy and look like ice cream. That just takes a little bit of patience to wait for those frozen banana slices to turn into creamy ice cream. Once it's creamy, it's time to add the peanut butter. So today I have two tablespoons. I like to start with two tablespoons and usually it's enough, but you can always add more if you need a little bit more. Then I'm just gonna give it a little whirl and then it'll be time to taste it. Now, if you want to eat it, as soon as it's finished, it's just like soft serve. But you can also put it in the freezer in a sealed container and serve it later too, and then it's a little bit firmer, but right now it's just like soft serve. Bananas and peanut butter that's turned into ice cream. How can you get anything better than that on a sunny day? I'm Sue Doden, sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.